In that video I decided to test Coca-Cola Zero and to test if it's keto friendly and if it's any good to be drinked on a keto diet. So this is exactly what I did. Basically I drink like two liters of Diet Coke, Coke Zero in this case, and I measure my ketones a few times just to confirm if it slightly change or even kick me out of ketosis. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. And to make that, I'm using this ketone strips, which you dip in the urine and measuring the level of ketones. And basically, if urine to ketosis, this second box will color in dark color, nearly black, brownish. And if it's not colored at all, you mean you had any sugar. And from my experience, once you have even just very small amount of sugar, it's never color in any dark color. So this is very good test and it can, it's very sensitive. It can track very small changes in the blood sugar. So I believe this test is uh, accurate at all. Anyway, I'm testing myself before the experiment just to confirm I'm into ketosis. And as you can see, this is very deep ketosis. It's almost the max level. Just as a reference, you see what the strip look like when it's not dipped in the urine. So we're accepting that at the beginning I'm into very deep ketosis and 9.30 p.m. I'm starting to drink two liters of coca-cola and now on uh, accelerated video just fast forward I'm gonna show you how long it's gonna take until I drink that so basically I drink the whole thing in about two or three hours but anyway uh, about the coca-cola what I think is bad about the coca-cola itself is not only the eventual uh, sugar content but also the acid the phosphoric acid this is absolutely very bad for the feet i remember when i was a kid i used to drink that a lot and i have absolutely huge problems with my dental health i had so many cavities and so many issues and i mostly think that's because of the coca-cola and of course probably because of all, uh, all the sugars and chocolates i had back then but who knows I wish I knew that earlier, by the way, but anyways. Two hours later, it's time for the first sample. This is two hours later and about two or maybe 1.8 liter after I started. So I think two hours plenty and it's enough to raise the sugar if there is any in this drink. And obviously, as you can see here, This is still relatively good ketosis. Yes, the ketone levels are slightly reduced, but from my experience, this is still very high amount of ketones. And maybe this slight reduction is because of the dilution when you drink a lot of liquid. Naturally, the level of urine is higher as well. So probably this dilute the amount of ketones as well. Still in nice deep ketosis, which is important and the main topic of proving that video if I'm gonna stay in ketosis or not. Anyway, I'm continuing to drink the rest of the drink. Just to remember, I drink 1.8 liters so far, so I'm continuing with the rest of the amount until I drink the full 2.25 liters, which took me obviously longer because I'm already full with liquid and don't really wanna drink that, but of course I will because it's addictive and everybody look, love Coca-Cola, I like the taste, and I drink it because I like the taste, obviously. See, I don't know, I'm gonna be super happy if you tell me in the comments why you actually drinking Coca-Cola because I know many people drink Coca-Cola, I mean, like, everybody's addicted to Coca-Cola, everybody drink Coca-Cola, including me, so why is that? Is it because of taste, is it because of caffeine or because of sugar or something else? We're assuming this one doesn't have any sugar, why people drink that? I have no idea, but I'll be happy to see your point of view. Let me know. Anyways, two additional hours later and four and a half hours in total since I begin, we have the following results on our second sample. Okay, definitely slight reduction 
in the amount of ketones. Maybe somewhere in the middle of the scale, which in my experience, in my opinion, still mean I'm into ketosis, like 100%, definitely, no doubt about that. Maybe that slight reduction come from the ingredients in the Coca-Cola, I have no idea, or maybe just because of the dilution, because of too much liquid I drank. However, the result is still positive, definitely still into ketosis, definitely Coke is keto-friendly drink, even if probably not good for your health, it's not gonna kick you out of ketosis. And just in case, I decide to make one more test 24 hours after that, and the result, as you see, is nice, deep ketosis. So, again, from my previous video, if you haven't watched them, just take a look at that. If I'm not into ketosis, if I eat any sugar, it will take me much more than 24 hours to get back into ketosis. Normally, it takes about four, five, six days. So, yes, the conclusion is definitely Coke Zero did not take you out of ketosis, and I'm super happy about that because Sometimes I just like to drink it and it's actually a nice alternative. So that's it. I'm planning to do more experiments like that in the future, including with sugar Coca-Cola, but I guess if you're interested, stay around for those. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.